Well, we just pulled in the driveway from camping and we are taking an impromptu trip to Black Lake, New York. We'll be taking the F-350 with the Godzilla. You know I'm gonna be eating the first five minutes. Okay, we're going to go ahead and reset the trip meter. So we'll track our time, miles, and mileage. Quick little road trip update here. We did fill up 19.4 gallons for 58.34 of the unleaded 88, 2.99 a gallon. Update here, we ended up meeting uh, the family of Mackenzie staying with for this week of vacation in Black Lake. And we drove 337.4 miles, our average is 16.0 miles per gallon. We still have 384 miles to empty and we've been driving about six hours. For home, start driving towards home. And I'll give you the update again, unleaded 88. And I should add that that drive time and mileage is with the truck having never been shut off twice we stopped to stretch our legs and let all of out to go to the bathroom we left it running the entire time so that will pull the mileage down a little bit and add time to the drive time that wasn't actually driving right now olive's checking out these dump beds just to get into the dump truck industry taking a pee break on this long trip this will end up being about a 12 to 13 hour drive day for us the truck has been really comfortable it's a nice ride in vehicle comfortable seats it's nice to have the blind spot mirrors so we've been on the interstate quite a while and it's nice to have those blind spot indicators when someone's on either side of you if you're wondering about speed, we've been traveling between 65 and 75 miles an hour depending on what roadway we're on. So 
for my girl. does have this travel water bowl. She loves just wait, it. Just wait, just wait, just wait. She's so thirsty. There you go. How's the ride been in the back of the truck? Good. It's more comfortable in the front of the truck. <laughs> oh, it's been cuddly. We've got the two right-hand seats folded up and her hammock. Jennifer's been sitting here on the other seat. Got tons of leg room. Super comfortable. Mackenzie had shotgun, but as you can see, we dropped her off. Okay. All of so thirsty. Okay, that's it. All right, okay. we're gonna get driving. Stop for a quick bite at Arby's. They're doing the four for ten dollar regular roast beef sandwiches. And even though we've left Pennsylvania, it looks like we still may be in Amish country because there's buggy parking right there. What do you think, pup? You ready to turn around and go home? This is our drive home. Almost five hours, 240 more miles, and we'll arrive at about 11.04 p.m. Just in time to go to bed so I can get up at 5.30 and go to work tomorrow. Some people might think we're crazy for making a, probably end up being 11 or 12 hour drive. I think to, 13 or 14 hours. Do you think probably. it will be? To get Mackenzie to her vacation with her friends but she's been taking this trip. This is the fourth summer in a row now with family friends and she absolutely loves it and they love having her. And we felt really bad that she was sick yesterday and wasn't able to make the drive with them. Turn right to so I even though it's been a long day, Syracuse. it ended up, it's been a good Sunday drive. Father's Day. Father's Day. So, hey, what better than getting to spend several hours in the car all together on Father's Day. We got to drop her off and now we're heading home. So it's been an adventure. And we've been driving six and a half hours so far and we've got five hours left. So whatever that adds up and then we'll have, <laughs> to, stop. We'll have to stop and get gas. And, and all of them need All out. of them need to be out. We're doing a little pet walk. But she's been a good traveler already. Six and a half hours in the truck. She's never done a trip like this. No, she's doing good. New York Freeway toward Albany, Buffalo.
the camera look cleaner because I got a message that my camera was too dirty. Clean the windshield. Otherwise, the forward collision assistance wouldn't work. In 6.1 miles, take exit 41, state route 89 toward northeast. Actually, we're probably not going to go the direction it's saying on the screen there. And we've been driving 10 hours, 17 minutes, 585 miles, averaging 16.2 miles per gallon on our unleaded 88. Time for Olive to have a break. Time for Olive to have a little break. No pets there. Remember this place? Stink? Hmm? Okay, so we're filling back up with unleaded 88. We've got 99 miles to empty left in the tank. We've gone 639.9 miles in 11 hours and 25 minutes. We averaged 16.1 miles per gallon. We'll fill back up. We've got another 37 miles or so to go towards home. here I forgot to take a final look so final drive time 12 hours 16 minutes 676 miles 16.1 miles per gallon average on that unleaded 88 and if you're not sure what that is it is about 15% ethanol content and 88 octane And the time of day, 12.15 a.m.
So in the past, I found that that unleaded 88 gets me about one mile per gallon less in the little truck than if I were running the regular 87 octane. In the big truck, it worked out pretty close to being the same in that 16 miles per gallon range is what I typically get on interstate travel. We ended up at 16.1 after a 12 hour drive. Now the truck was only turned off a few times, once to eat real quick at Arby's and twice to get gasoline. Other than that, the entire trip from 11.30 this morning until after midnight tonight was all truck running on that unleaded 88. Thanks for watching. If you found this informative and entertaining, we'd appreciate it if you give us a big thumbs up. Leave those comments down below if you've ever tried unleaded 88. It's not everywhere around here. It is at some sheets stations here in Northwest Pennsylvania, but when I can find it, I get it. It was $2.99 a gallon, plus with my sheets discount, it ends up being $2.96 a gallon. Saves you quite a bit of money. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time. Thank <laughs> you.